Let's explore the Lightroom interface with a focus on the library module. Here I've imported some images to Lightroom that I want to work with. To expand my panels, I'm going to click on the small gray arrows in the center of each of the sides. I can also press the Tab key on the keyboard to hide or reveal the side columns. One cool feature of Lightroom is that it is easy to toggle between thumbnails of my images in the grid mode and in loop mode, which provides a larger view of each image. When you are evaluating your images, simply double click any of your thumbnails to get a larger view. Double click again to get back to a larger image. Single click a large image to zoom further in and drag to move your zoom around. You can also use the navigator panel in the left column to move around the image. It's important to remember that whatever image you selected, while it is selected, it is ready to use by any of the other modules in the program. To access the many useful modules in Lightroom, use the top bar on your screen. The right side of this bar displays your different modules, letting you easily toggle between the different areas of Lightroom. For example, clicking on the Develop module here opens up the Develop module. Clicking on Print module here opens up that module. On your computer keyboard, you can use Quick Keys G for Grid in the Library module or D for Develop to quickly toggle between the different modules like this. Changing modules. It's a real time saver. Finally, at the bottom of your screen is the film strip, which shows thumbnails of photos within any folder or collection you are viewing. Your film strip is the area where you will sort your images based on color tags, star ratings, or flags, so you'll get pretty familiar with this spot. The option in the film strip change depending on what module you are in, but you will find this a useful area to monitor as you carry out various tasks in Lightroom.